Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of 3DS Basics Tutorial on how to make a gaming character. So, in the last episode we have done the legs and the arms. So this episode we are going to look at the head itself. Uh, the head is very, very detailed and needs to be taken care of uh, and you need to refine it every now and then. Make sure it's perfect. So, so there are two ways to go with this. We can either pull up the edges from this one right here, or we can just make another object and attach it as a head. As a head. Now, before we do anything, if we go to edges and just select space, we'll still be seeing some red line. This indicates that we are doing something wrong with the symmetry. So, to fix that, we're going to turn off symmetry and as you can see it has passed the x-axis beyond the point to where the symmetry is working so it's going into the positive x side we want it only to be in the negative so to fix that simply go to vertex and then select only the outside edges and then set them to zero we've done this before and then align them in the x so once you align them they'll be perfect and let's try and there we go the line the red lines are gone and um, one more thing we gotta do to check if there is any more five sides um, polygons there are plenty I know there are a lot here we haven't taken care of them but to check where they are and exactly how many there are we're gonna go ahead to go for selection so go ahead go to selection and make sure you're selecting polygons and go ahead and set this, I don't know if it's default by 3, but let's go ahead and set it to 4. And we're going to make it greater than 4. And these indicate the size of uh, the polygons that we have in the object. So once you do that, click on the mouse button. And there we go. Oh gosh, that is, that's, that's, that's a lot. Yep, this is definitely one. These are ones. So if we want to go about fixing them, that could be... I'll just show you how to do one and we can do the rest later. So this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, five sides. So to fix that, actually is it six, one, two, three, four, five, no, it's five. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to modeling and create, simply create, oops, I'm selecting the wrong. There we go. Go to edges, go to create and make line and now if we go ahead and go to selection polygons and if we count it it'll be selected as still better than nothing there we go so we fixed one now you gotta do all the lines for each one just to have less than five sides you wanna have four four uh, three to four and that's it no more than four so let's do that later and now let's go ahead and make the the head. So, to do that, we are going to create another object. Now, what would you think that the head should be? A box, a sphere, a cone? Well, most people would say a sphere. And guess what? You're wrong. It should not be a sphere. It's just, it's, it's a lot to work with and way too many polygons. We don't need that. So, let's just go with a box. Very simple. And let's move it center it and then drag it up in the Y and there we go so after you've done this let's go ahead and start shaping it to be like a head so first thing same we apply the edit poly either by here or you go to the modifier and just E to go to edit poly once you do that, go to left side and let's start shaping it more like a head. So probably want to have it about like that. Let's see, like that. And then for the length, I would say it should be about. Let's go to front and check it out. It should be about this size. Yeah, that's good enough. And then let's add some swift loops 
and start making it look round. So let's go ahead and add one right here, here, here. And let's do those for now. So let's just make it round. And so once you do that, we're going to add another swift loop. Easy as that. So start like being creative, as I said before, and just do it like you feel it should be. It's pretty straightforward. There's nothing really complicated to go here. Um, so let's go ahead and make more swift loops. So add one, two, three, four. Okay, and then go to front. Now we can actually start shaping it like we want here. Let's go to vertex. And go. Remember, this is 3D, so there are three dimensions to go and deal with it. So we apply the swift loop from this side, this side, and now we gotta apply this side when we're done with the first. Um, so there we go. Now keep in mind there is no uh, symmetry modifier on there. So we can add one, but it's it's not gonna work. So this is looking better, I guess. And let's go ahead and make it adding the final swift loops here, 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 and right here. And now start. So there we go. That is pretty sketchy. It's just a sketch, not much of a. It's just a like maybe a three-minute hit. There's not much work on it, but it will get fixed. It will take a while, but you just gotta keep going, keep trying until you get it right will take a while. So next we are going to make the eyes. Let's go ahead and cut. Like that. And another one over here. Another one over here. And now let's go ahead and cut inside of them to make them be able to stretch uh, in. So let's go and cut through here. And you can just pull these in. Simple as that. It's not that hard. So, and let's go ahead. If if you want to do this, you can chamfer both in order to make it better. Oops. 
like so. So now they look like real eyes. Well, not human necessarily, but you can insert uh, a ball inside that we're going to actually attach it to the head. And let's go ahead and cut another. I'm going to make it creepy a little bit. So. So there we go. Might want to collapse these two over here. There we go. And then select all these. And we're going to go ahead and extrude them inside. So, I mean, I guess it looks like a pumpkin, you could say. It would be better if we have used symmetry, but it is kind of tricky because if you apply symmetry and attach it to the main object, it's going to have two symmetries on it. It's going to mess up the whole thing. So that's why it's better if you just do it without symmetry. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this maybe smaller. And push it in. like that. Unless you want it hollow, that's fine, but I wouldn't suggest it. So, there we go. That is how you make the head. It's pretty simple. Um, it does need, as I said, more retouches, a lot of retouching, but it is. it does seem very good for a beginner character. Yeah, we can make this a little bit taller here. Just like, just like that. And then we let's go ahead and make, just for the fine retouching, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make. Uh, we're not gonna attach it yet because if we attach it, it's gonna, it's gonna have the symmetry modifier applied to it, and it'll just screw up the whole thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make the eyeballs. So let's do that. Um, so to do that, we are going to use an actual sphere. So go ahead and do it. Probably reduce the, the segments into uh, probably say 16. 16 seems good. So there we go. And then just drag it up until you get it right. Uh, you do not want to scale it, remember. So go ahead and apply the edit poly, and from there you can scale it. So let's just select all of it. Make sure it's all of it. How uh, we can actually make this transparent? Let's go ahead and make this transparent. Alt. X, then go to ball, edit poly, select all of it, and let's go ahead and scale it down to where it fits. right here so that looks good enough let's go ahead and um, do that so it does look pretty cool I think so all we gotta do in order to make a make a, a copy we're going go ahead and click shift and just move it over and make it the copy, yes. So, 
And maybe a little bit. Let's click F to see it precisely where it is. Yeah, we do need to make it a little bit. Yep. That seems good enough. Perfect. And now to attach it, all we gotta do is go to head and then go to modifier, edit poly, uh, click on attach, click on this one, and it's still, make sure it's still um, selected, click on that one, and turn it off. And there you go, the, that's how you select and uh, attach. Um, the eyes to the head. I still think it's they need a lot of. Uh, see why the edge flow matters, especially on spheres or a sphere-like objects. It's very important. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as it is because it's a beginner character. We're not going into advanced here. Um, so this is pretty cool. I think it looks realistic enough for a game to work. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe for future tutorials and stay tuned for part 4. Uh, we're gonna make the hands next and probably the feet if we have time. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.